Welcome to the house tour in Brittany. Number two, the last house tour was just down there and just round the corner, about a two minute walk away. Here is our host. And also, your, uh, your stuff's fallen out the window. <laughs> Welcome to our house in Trevignon, where we stayed in 2019. As you can see, it's got a lovely ocean view, which would be better if the hedge was a bit shorter. But the, nevertheless, it's a fine house and quite a nice spot of ground. Uh, the weather's been fantastic. Uh, we'll have a look around the house now, which is, I'm sure you will agree, is uh, a very nice house. I have seen better days, but there's some beautiful features. This is the main living room where we've tended to um, either eat or just sit and talk. Extraordinary amount of electronic gizmos in here and a fascinating aquarium which so far we've never quite worked out whether it's tropical or just marine. I suspect it was marine. But it's this is the living empty. room. If you look around here you'll see lots of things to do with boats and ships. We uh, are led to believe the person who lives here is keen on boats and ships but he doesn't sail which seems to be odd. Um, Only power boating maybe. And now we go go sort of into the kitchen which again is Nice and well provided for. Some of it's a little bit old and in need of a bit of love, but there is so much electronic gizmos here that we think we could stock out Argus for their kitchen utensils department. We've got two coffee machines. Two coffee, well, we, and we've got two more in another cupboard somewhere. <laughs> uh, we have had slight trouble with that because nobody quite knew how to work the uh, um, induction systems. Anyway, this is, we are now got a tour of the house, starting on the north side and finishing on the second of this store. Have two staircases. Nice toilet bathroom, um, plenty of space, all the facilities. Um, now we're going to the sort of Aladdin's Den part of the house, which is quite clearly mostly stuff that belongs to the family hidden behind this curtain. You don't need to see this. Ooh. Nice laundry room with uh, extraordinary bits of equipment in here. Um, somebody who's yeah. obsessed with ironings, not a uh, daydream. Behind here is family stuff. Uh, we don't pretend to know what it, why it's all there or what it's all there for. Oh, and there's a locked door there, which is there's the garage. There's a locked door there, which obviously also has family stuff in. We now go up the staircase to the main bedroom, the master bedroom, where Lucy and Andrew and Emma and Martin stayed. Smashing views from the window of the sea and an excellent entry point for mosquitoes and other strange things. As you can see, more equipment <laughs> sheltered from our gaze. Nice view out the back, as you can see. We'll see later, we've got a big backyard. More electronic gizmos. Another short flight of steps to the first floor toilet, Pat's bedroom, which she's doing something to, I'm just making it there. Uh, and then another toilet here. Oh, hang on, Mr. The nice bathroom shower this, here. Do you, did you have trouble with this toilet, though, Michael? Uh, when you stand up in the toilet, the. You uh, can't stand up in the toilet. Um, okay. Oh, having your big Pat's bedroom, which has been tidied up for well, just reasons just we don't bring up the start. Yep. It's rather than reality. Yes. This is journalism you're into rather than documentary. <laughs> this is the third double bedroom. Lots of interesting pictures of ships on the yep. wallpaper. And another stunning view if you're into sea views. Did you, do you want to pop into this bathroom? Oh, we'd better pop into the bathroom where it's beautiful Lucy is uh, doing things to her face. Um, as you can see, good bath, good shower. People up behind have excellent views of people in the shower, but in reality they can't see through. Because you have to be this low to have a shower. And it's also one way to, I think, it looks black from the outside. Really? Right. Well, I think it's just the lighting up. Another, anyway, this is the third bedroom, another lovely room um, with the television and 
and all furniture. This is where they kept the old people. It's basically uh, the landing. A very comfortable two single beds pushed together to make a double. Uh, good nice. dresser. A uh, bit of a low pitch. Again, beautiful view from the window. I didn't realise you had a desk up here. Smoothie. Oh, I have a desk. And I also have a way of recovering my dry down shorts. Just back down to the front door. Yeah, main living room. And then out of the back door, there are some very interesting features to this house. We have uh, at least four, if not five, boats. Ah, yeah. The, on the premises. Um, you should see a lovely big yard area uh, with an inflatable and the seven horsepower engine, neither of which work. <laughs> inflatable has no bottom and the engine seized. Um, a nice trailer with a Christmas tree. <coughs> Ping pong table, which we haven't used, nor uh, a bike provided by the owners. As you can see, a beautiful space. He's definitely big. With the Barbie, which we've used on a number of occasions. And there's the ocean kayak, also provided by the owners of the house. Which is very good. We had a good fun one day towards the end of the holiday. Well, I hope you agree. It's nice and bad house. Could be worse. No. And we've had a thoroughly good fortnight here, mainly due to the weather and the company. So I hope to see you all again on our travelogue series. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. Can you help